Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, CEOs of the telecom industry, representatives of humanitarian organizations, civil society, all protocol observed. <coughs> I'm pleased to be welcoming you here in ITU <coughs> on this special occasion on behalf of the ITU Secretary General, Dr. Madun Ture, and also my other fellow elected officials of ITU. Let me begin by thanking you and telling you how I feel honored that you accepted my invitation to serve on this prestigious Smart Sustainable Development Model Advisory Board. I will ask the question, why advisory board? And who are you advising? For this, two reasons. First, an advisory board is supposed to be advising and in some cases, you don't need to have the endorsement of your board before you commit to outside. And it is, of, of course, as I said in the invitation letter, it is institute personnel invitation. We are inviting individuals. So second, an advisor is free to say whatever he or she wants, which could may not be the case or someone is that is committed in official business. So the idea behind it is to bring around the same table individuals who have track record, who have got big experience, and also who have got big art, big art to see how beyond the business as usual we can deliver something to people outside who are suffering <laughs> when natural disaster strikes. <coughs> the body is unique in that you were all individually approached in your individual capacity based <coughs> on your experience, your track record, as I said, and your expertise. For that reason, I'm convinced that the sum of our efforts and commitment will go a long way to make a difference in this world. I do believe in it. I'm convinced, and I hope you also convinced by accepting to serve on this board. Today, we sit in this board for an initiative which is very special to my heart, and I'm sure it is special to your heart too, as it has a direct impact on people's life. The Smart Sustainable Development Model Initiative is smart, timely, and all-inclusive. In composing this advisory board, we managed to get together high personalities of government, private sector, multilateral organization, civil society, and non-profit non foundations who all bring with them invaluable professional and personal experiences, including regional perspectives. Above all, in this room today, we are people who share the passion of saving lives in a sustainable manner. This is what makes this advisory board unique, and this is why I feel so proud and honored that you accepted my invitation to sit on this board. Although you may have read a lot about this initiative, let me say a few words about it and my colleague Cosmas will make a presentation, a more comprehensive presentation. This is a great initiative that bridges the gap between business, social development, and public safety. I repeat, it will bridge, it will bridge the gap between business, social development, and public safety. 
I believe that all the ICT business and social oriented projects and activities should incorporate disaster resiliency and disaster pre preparedness because the challenges brought by natural disaster are real. Between 2000 and 2012, 1.2 million people lost their lives. 1.2 million. A total of 2.9 billion people life were affected. And the loss, economic loss, the damage, economic damage is estimated at 1.7 billion, trillion, uh, sorry, 1.7 trillion. In two, between 2012 and 2000, 2010 and 2012, those two past years, the average of natural disaster happening in the world was three and 368 per year, which means that we have, at we have more than one natural disaster every day in our life. Those are the challenges we are facing today, and those are the challenges where we are called to play a role together in order to change something. It is this, for this reason that I think that professionals and other workers running ICT projects and social services should be trained to be the first responders when disaster strikes. Disasters strike. Actually, disaster affects all of us. And unfortunately, it could be described as the equalizer. But equalizer in the negative way, not on the upper side, but the lower side because uh, it affects the old and the young. It affects the rich and the poor. It affects urban and rural citizens. It affects the able-bodied and the disabled. We are just through the initiative addressing the issues of the old, the issue of the old humanity. And this is a noble role, I think, that we can play together. I know some of you have been playing this role. But the all about this, is this advisory board, this initiative, is to bring all of us around the table, one table, where we can cross fertilize our experiences, where we can make sure that we work as a team. And I say team, I have a special meaning for team. Team, I would say, T for together, E for everyone, A for achieve, and M for more. Together, everyone achieves more. It's a spirit I would like to have in this advisory board and this initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to say friends, because this is what we expect in this initiative, that we are, we are friends around this table. When I look at, around this table, I see faces committed to serve the world. A global information society is built by high motivated individuals who move beyond the ordinary business as usual and promote sustainable development through the enth their enthusiasm, strong vision, and creativity. Those individuals for me are here today in this room with our joint effort. Information and communication technologies can be mobilized to be a catalyst for both development and life saving. I am very optimistic of what we'll accomplish together. Let us take advantage of this board to network among ourselves, brainstorm and share experiences. My ultimate goal is to create a platform to nurture new relationships and strengthen existing ones. And I'm pleased to note that many of you from organizations that have got already partnership with ITU are here today. However, this initiative go, goes beyond to link emergency telecommunication and sustainable development, and my colleague uh, Cosmas 
will come back to, to, to explain a bit more what, we, what I mean. I therefore look forward to benefiting from your insight and the world outside, outside here is waiting for us to answer a few questions. First, why did you leave your very busy schedule and all your very high responsibility to convert to Geneva today? The second question, how will your advisory board impact them? The third question, what are we committed to deliver over the coming months to come? I'm sure that we will be able to answer these questions by the time we will close our meeting this afternoon, as we are all here, because we all deeply believe that no life, I say no life, should be lost because the right communications, communication means we are not put at the right place at the right moment. If I were to summarize the expected output of the Smart Sustainable Development Model and its advisory board, I will say the following. We are getting together to put a human face to our shared vision, our, to our shared passion for compassion and use business to sustain it. I thank you. So I give now the floor to Costa.